Now, we're going to talk about your fighting Les Miles Jayhawks. That's right. The Kansas, My Jayhawks. The Kansas Jayhawks went 3-9 and nine last year, 1-8 and eight in conference. They returned five starters on offense, five on defense. Experience, number 64 in the country, number six in the conference. That's kind of okay. Like, you know, does not fine. matter. Head coach Les Miles takes over for David Beatty, who went six and forty-two the last four years. That matters. Uh, yeah, went two and thirty-four in the conference. Running back Puka Williams, he is an absolute star, and we haven't talked about this on the show. Domestic violence uh, issue. Yeah, he was suspended from like. January through July. Yes. And then they reinstated him, and they're going to suspend him for the first game of the season, which is against Indiana State. Correct. But Les did this at LSU. Yeah. Like he's, he, he loves giving people a second chance. Yep. And that's... Now, I, in, it's easy. I, I defend him because I love him. I'm super biased. I, I'm open and honest about that. I, I worship this man. But he is the only coach that has ever kicked a Heisman Trophy candidate off his team. That's, that's and he true. did it for smoky marijuana. Yeah. It wasn't for beating anybody, it wasn't for anything. So he will give second chances. And then he but will if draw abuse it. Then he will draw a line in the sand and say, You have gone too far and you are gone for good. And I love you. And and Tyron Matthews today will tell you Les Miles saved his life. Yeah. It changed his life, and it was the hardest thing that ever happened. So while I'm going to just take a few minutes to defend him, yes, he's given this guy a second chance. This is a slap on the wrist. This is not a penalty at all. Yeah. It's not a punishment at all. No. But it's not like he's not afraid to punish. Exactly. Uh, running back Puka Williams, like I said, absolute star, so you can – Absolutely understand why he would want him on this team. He's going to need him. He's going to need He's going to need him. Uh, quarterback Thomas McVitie was the number one Juco pro-style quarterback in the country. Brought him in. Les is going to bring some Juco guys in. This team is not going to look like last year's team. No, it's I not. I assure you of that. Um, I think it might record-wise. Okay. But I think as far as aesthetics go, they're not going to gonna be a tougher out. They're not going to get blowed out by everybody like no. they use it. They're not 40-point games anymore. No, no, you're right about that. The offensive line has uh, experience, uh, but can they produce? Can they actually block anybody? And that's, that's going to be a big part of this. Defense was stronger unit in 2018, but they lost five of their starting front seven to graduation. They returned the entire secondary, so that's good. Uh, so long as they bring in some big old boys on that offensive line or defensive line, I think they're going to be just fine. Uh, favorite, like early schedule. I mean, it's very, very simple, especially the first couple of games. Um, then it starts to get difficult with the game at uh, Boston College. But, uh, it, you know, they can, they can build momentum early. But I think there's too much defensive inexperience to expect a breakthrough this season. Great. I think this is step one. This right. is you you start to build the identity of the team and then you figure out how to win later because these guys have no idea how to win. I've got them at 3 and 9. 1 and 8 in the conference. Their wins I've got over Kansas State at home. I've got over Coastal Carolina at home and over Indiana State. I think they lose at Boston College, at home to West Virginia, at TCU, Oklahoma, at Texas, Texas Tech. At Oklahoma State, at Iowa State, and to Baylor. I believe in less, and less is all about gradual, sustainable gains. Take that inch, don't give it back. Never worry about taking a mile. I think they're four and eight. I think last year they were three and nine. I think he's going to go in with his goal to be better than they were last year. Now, the over under is three. And the over is plus 140. So if you think they're hitting four. I do think they're hitting four. Then I would suggest that you grab Oh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to play that because I'm getting good odds. And let me tell you this. The, the, the under, by the way, under three is minus 160. 60. I was so about they to are say, more likely to, to hit two yeah. nope, than no they are question. to hit. No question. Yeah. So here's, here's where I think they get that extra W. They win one of Boston College or Texas Tech. Texas Tech they do have at home. 
Les is going to beat somebody. He's going to be a dog again. That's that's just going to happen. I don't I th- know who, I think, and I don't know how, and they're not, they don't have the dudes to beat a Texas or an Oklahoma. Like, I think they, could, they could beat West Virginia. They could beat them. I, now, I, I love this Gundy team. You know that. We'll yeah. get to them tomorrow, next time we do this. But it wouldn't surprise me if they beat Oklahoma State because Oklahoma State does this all the time. They'll yeah. be they'll run through a conference. I mean, they'll be like seven and zero, and then they'll lose to a garbage team somewhere. Yeah, not but, saying that Kansas is garbage. That's right. What? Well, but they have been. They absolutely yeah. have been. Yeah. And dude wise, like guys getting off and actually striping up and playing on the field. Yeah, they're they're trash compared to the other players. In 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 comparison to what you're about to go against, I just I just believe in that man. More than I, I believe in almost anybody else. Okay, I, I was understand. really upset when he took this job. Yeah, because I don't want him to tarnish his legacy. Because right now I have him on this pedestal, and I just I don't want I don't think he falls off that pedestal just because he he loses at Kansas. Oh no no no, I don't either. But if he if he, if, I'll if tell he you this. turns Kansas around to a six even, and six team that plays in a bowl game, not wins a bowl game, plays in a bowl game, then yes, he's a god. Yeah, he's a god. Which. What does that make Mark Mangino? Think about 2007 when they won the Orange Bowl and oh won 11 God. games. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. that's just... Oh, no, they won 12 games. They won Didn't 12 they go 12 games. and won that year? When they won the Orange Bowl, they won. They were I mean, 11. Just one. remarkable. Jesus. Um, 